President Biden today meeting with the families of two Americans who the White House says are wrongfully detained in Russia. WNBA star Brittany Griner and Marine veteran Paul Whelan. It marks the first time the president has spoken with their families face to face. Today, National Security Council spokesman John Kirby told MSNBC the U.S. gave Russia, as he put it, a serious offer, but it doesn't appear to be good enough for the Kremlin. Kirby insists the administration is committed to doing everything in its power to bring Griner and Whelan home. It's an active conversation, but we obviously haven't gotten where we want to get to. We haven't secured their release. Uh, so we're just going to stay at this. We're going to keep working on it. Um, and again, that's a big reason why the president wanted to meet with these families today, so that they not only knew how seriously he and the administration is taking it, but that he was able to update them on where we are. Now, all eyes are on the United Nations General Assembly, convening next week to see if Secretary Anthony Blinken, Secretary of State, will try to make a deal with Russian Foreign Ministry Secretary Sergei Lavrov. CNBC's Kayla Tausche now. Kayla, what are you learning about those meetings, if anything, today? Well, Tyler, the meetings which the families had been requesting took place back to back late this afternoon. They just ended a few minutes ago. The president briefing each on the individual situations of Brittany Griner and Paul Whelan with cameras out of view. With the WNBA star detained for more than six months and Paul Whelan in Russian prison since December 2018, the White House said the president planned to tell the families he would continue doing everything he can. The U.S. had proposed a one-for-two prisoner swap back in the summer, offering to free convicted arms dealer Victor Boot in exchange for Griner and Whelan. NBC News reporting that the Kremlin wants two Russians released to free both of them. Russia has not responded to the offer formally, but NSC spokesman John Kirby said robust negotiations continue. We made a serious offer. Uh, we want them to accept it. But we understand that uh, there's a, that's probably going to have to be the result of a negotiating process, one that we're willing to participate in honestly and fully, and we've been doing that. As you just mentioned, Secretary of State Antony Blinken is expected to meet his Russian counterpart at the U.N. General Assembly in New York next week, and the State Department said Blinken would welcome a discussion of the detainees if it came up. But a senior administration official tells me this evening the General Assembly serves other purposes and negotiations like this don't traditionally happen on such a crowded stage.